The Bible teaches us that we're going to live by faith. We are to live by faith. Now, if you live by faith, then you're going to die by unbelief. Are you hearing? <laughs> if we're going to live, we're going to live by faith. By faith in what? Some people think faith is this. Yeah. I just close my eyes and just try to believe. That ain't faith. There ain't no faith in that. Faith is, 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 is knowing what God said and putting your trust in it. This is what I believe. Now, when you get to the place that you've got God's Word in your heart and your life and you know by what God's Word says that this is the will of God, this is the will of God, the devil's all time bombarding our minds and saying, well, you, you, you just don't know for sure. There's many voices out here in the world, and you'll hear one, you say, well, you know, maybe, I don't know if that's a, I don't know, really know if that's the truth or not. Listen, there's truth in this earth. There's truth in God's Word that, that is absolute truth, and I don't care what anybody says. Now, His Word is true, and His will is truth, and when you discern and push through and wade through all the unbelief and everything everybody's saying and find what God said really in His Word, then you'll know what He said. And this is the real truth. And then you can say, when you know that, when you know it on the inside, you get it right down in here, you get a revelation of that, and you know that, then here's what it is. Then you live by that. And here come circumstances and says, woohoo, look at me, look at me, look at me. And you say, I'm not moved by you. You don't move me. <laughs> You don't move me. Why would you move me? <clears throat> yeah, but you know I'm here. You can't, you can't deny me. I'm here. I'm not trying to deny you. I'm saying I'm not moved by you. A few days you won't be around anyway. Why should I be moved by you? Some people say, I don't understand that kind. I know you don't. But you're going to have to get in the Word to understand what I'm talking about. When you can find what God said to you, and you believe that, and you walk in that, you'll not be moved by what people say. You won't be moved by circumstances. You'll be moved. What will move you is what God said in His Word. That's what I'm moved by. I'm not moved by the need. I'm moved by God's Word. There'll always be needs. There'll always be needs in our lives. But what are we moved by? What meets those needs? God, His Word, that's what, that's what causes us to overcome. That's what causes the temporary, temporal things to change. Is to believe something that's eternal, that cannot change, that won't change. You start applying that to the temporary, temporal things, they'll start changing. They'll start lining up with the eternal. Amen. And people quit preaching all this junk they're hearing. They might get a hold of some of this stuff. Amen. Been going to church for years. Listen, listen. They've been people going to church for years, have never seen the move of God, have never seen a manifestation of the Holy Ghost. Been went to church all their life and never saw the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Well, that's sad. That's just terrible. Never seen a move of God. Never seen... The, the a real live God in action, I think that's terrible because we're talking about a God, a God that's real, a God that meets needs and heals people and delivers people and sets people free, can cause people to be free in a, just a split second. Can, the power of God can come on a person and make them whole. While they've been churches, their churches today right now don't believe that. They've never saw anything like that and, and, and just have denied it. And it's all in the Word of God. Well, what's wrong? Well, what's, what's, what's up with that? Don't you think that we as Christians, any Christian, I don't care what you got tagged over your head, don't you think that any Christian, whether you be Baptist, Pentecostal, whatever you, that you claim to be, don't you think every Christian ought to be a Bible-believing Christian? If you're not a Bible-believing Christian, you may not be one. 
And now, I'm not your judge. <laughs> I'm not your judge. I don't want to be. <laughs> Amen. I wouldn't be bothered with it. But if you don't believe the Bible, I thought every Christian ought to believe the Bible. Or how else can you be a Christian? Well, amen. I said amen. There's so many churches today that are so, so indoctrinated with, with the world and with doctors, and I'll tell you where they come from. I, I, I say things, and I guess people get so mad at me, if they could share, they'd probably, they'd want to just smack me real good. Oh. But I'm going to tell you the truth anyway. Anyway. 